Right, let's continue with this example. So we are finding the derivative of a function, uh, derivative of a function by using the first principle. So this is the first principle. So then now for this function, I have to use the first principle in finding the, uh, the derivative. So now, so to finding the derivative, you know that you have to know the x plus h, the function x plus h. So I'm going to replace the x with x plus h. Uh, just uh, we see the needs of the formula that we need x plus h, fx plus h. So now I can uh, apply the first principle now. So which is the limit as h approaching 0. right? So for the fx plus h, which is 5 over x plus h minus 5 over x divided by h. This is your fx plus h minus away the fx over the h. So I have already applied the first principle. So now is how to deal with this uh, problem here now, right? So uh, usually we will see if there is a fraction, we will try to equalize the denominator, right? Uh, equate the denominator here. So means that for this case, I will multiply this with x plus h. And this also multiply with x plus h. Where else for this one, you have to multiply with x, multiply with x here. So then I will have the common denominator, which will be x, x plus h. Right? So now on top, we have 5x, uh, we have 5x minus with 5 bracket x plus h, you, ex you can expand, you become negative 5x, negative 5x, negative 5h, right? Uh, negative 5h, so divided by h. So this is after I simplify. So now let's continue, see what, uh, how to simplify. So equals to limits of h approaching 0. So now on top here, now you have uh, 5x, 5x, uh, you cancel out, you're getting 0. So you have negative 5h, so you have negative 5h divided by x, x plus h over with h, right? Uh, so I can rewrite this fraction, I can rewrite this fraction to be negative uh, 5h. Uh, divide this and divide this again. So you have h, x, x plus h here, right? So I can divide this fraction, divide by this. So means that, for example, if I have 2 over 3 divided by 2, for example, right? So what I do, I will multiply uh, 3 on top here. I also multiply 3 here. So then I will have, cancel out this, you have 2, 2 multiply 3, right? So it means that 2 over 3 divided by 2 is the same as 3 multiplied 2. So it's the same as, as you divide this, you're taking this one, multiply with this one. So you divide. So now you can see that h approaching 0, this one 0, this one also 0. So this is a factor that I should cancel out, right? So then I have remaining of limit as h approaching 0. And you have negative 5 over with x, x plus h, right? Uh, now, uh, after eliminating the h, you can directly substitute the 0 into the function, which is uh, x, x plus with 0, right? So you will have negative 5 over x to the power of 2, right? So it means that your, your derivative of this function by using first principle will be f prime x equals to negative 5 over x to the power of 2. Right? Uh, so this is the way we applying first principle for a reciprocal function.